Greetings everyone, Depth Play here and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. We are here on the campfire with our friends and Ingrid and her man and her husband uh, just went to sleep. So let's have a look uh, how this is going. I swear every time you play that song, Cass. Oh, I can draw. Poor black flag. Oh man. I'm sorry. Who's Black Flag? He was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah. Something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and Black Flag. <sighs> we got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Uh-oh. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. I had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and mm. went straight at it. Cops were right behind us. Uh-oh. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, shit. I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. That must I be hope hard. The cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Aww. Here's That's so to sad. Black Flag. That sucks, Hannah. We lost a dog too. Little mushroom. It's hard. Shit. That's life. So you gotta walk on. Yeah, actually, yes. It's hard, but... Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, Hans. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory. Fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need I'm to stay our do that. once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Let's stop the violins. Check this out. Say hello to my little friend, Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust in no one before. We used to come here every now and then. Hook up on cash. But he disappeared. A few miles north from here, in a pot farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoomed. That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yup. Whoa. He must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Aww. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you what? mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true yeah. believer. Oh. oh. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. It's a small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Mm. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. What? I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. <laughs> I hope you can. Right, your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? 
Your turn. Uh, it's too fast. I can't uh -huh. get a right answer. I can't look fast. at it uh, enough. I already sang a song. <laughs> Big ears. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else. Yeah, I've got a whole bag of these. Don't worry. We're all listening, man. A mushroom. Hank Stamper. Well, I already told about mushroom, but Hank Stamper. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, is this is this someone I should remember? It's not. Oh, oh, is it Brody? It, no, I I think his name is actually Brody, or was it Hank? I don't know. Or is that the father of Chris? I don't know. I'm gonna go for that. Well, this is after me and Daniel took off from Seattle last year. We ended up at this redneck gas station in the middle of nowhere. Oh, but yeah. Our pictures were on, like, every local newspaper. Fucking gutter press. So the owner shows up and knocks my ass out. He tied me up and called the cops. I hope you beat his racist ass to a pulp. Daniel saved us. Uh, yeah. Actually, Daniel did all the work. He got us out before the cops arrived. Oh, oh. that's my champ. <laughs> yeah, Daniel did a very good thing Damn back vigilantes. then. Damn vigilantes. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on. Sure. Ooh, fucking. Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Yeah. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying, you can't change the past. Okay. So you just gotta focus on what's next. Sounds like Memories he's been through are just lessons for the future. The Sounds future. like he's been through huh? a lot. What's your big plan, Prophet? Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. Hmm. We'd be one big fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It sounds nice. That's your dream. But... Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. You sure about that? Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. And that's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land family what do you think you're missing out on now um coconut cocktails well agree to disagree fucker man i'm too high for your shit <laughs> it's time to crash and penny goes down peace out brother night night looks like we still have some <laughs> booze left who's in <laughs> oh twist my arm uh, Teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Yeah, oh, hell that's what yes I said in the last video. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night everyone. Hey, I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Oh. Go to bed with Daniel, stay and get a haircut. Well... Of course I'm gonna stick with Daniel. He mentioned earlier that, that, um... 
I don't that Sean doesn't spend enough time with him. So I don't want him to be to feel left alone, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go with Daniel. Yep. Yeah, I'm ready to crash too. Let's go. What? No, you're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep. And then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, then. <laughs> night, night. Sweet night. Dreams, See you yo. in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Well. Hey. Can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah. Yeah? That was wild. Risky, not a kid anymore. Um, am I? This is this is very difficult right now. If I'm reading, not a ca a kid anymore. Do I do I say that he's not a kid anymore, or would I talk about him saying that he's not a kid anymore? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna say. Too risky, that was wild. If I'm saying that was wild, I could probably say like, Whoa, that was so cool, you should do it sometime. And I would just encourage him to keep that up. But if I say it's too risky, I'm gonna be again like, You should never, uh, you should never use this again. And we know Daniel, he will do it anyway. So... I don't know. I want to try not a kid anymore. It kind of bummed me out when you said that you weren't a kid anymore. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know you're not, but I'm going to miss it. I can't help it, Sean. Fans are so different now. I miss my friends, my room, my play bots, Aww. everything. It all seems so far away now. I know I'm not always nice with you. But things aren't nice anymore. I know. Oh. But don't let this change who you are. I just wish I could have a normal life again. And stop being so angry all the time. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know, I still like it, <laughs> but it's kind of tight on me now. Yeah. Okay. You're too big for it. I am, but I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers, if that's okay. Just don't tell the others, okay? Promise. All right. Get comfy. Aw, that was really nice. That was a Where nice talk. We? Oh. Yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends. But the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on. Oh. But he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the Wolf Brothers from each other. Ever. Aww. That was adorable. Aw, that was really nice. Looks like I, I made the right decision here. For once. I mean, I totally messed up episode 2, but I'm doing my best to totally nail episode 3. I'm doing my best. I can't promise it, but I'll try. I'll do my best. Oh! He overslept. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, come on! Wake up! What? What? I know this song. <laughs> so cool. 
Doggy! What does that cutscene mean? Can't be over by now, right? <laughs> okay. It was what I wanted to say. Um, I think it was very nice how Daniel was talking to Sean. Like he said, I know I'm not always nice to you. And um, he was being honest about his his feelings. He never said something like, you're not my brother anymore ever again, ever since they had that big fight in the, in the hotel. Yeah. I'm very glad that they sorted it out, that they talked it out. I'm very, very glad. But I really was not sure when I was deciding what Sean should say next because sometimes I may I mess this kind of decisions up because I'm not enti entirely sure what they are about to say so I'm glad I made the right decision there but I'm just wondering this cutscene looks like it's it's yeah that's the ending of episode three but if yes, this would have been a really short episode. I'm also wondering, um, Hannah or the one with the with the short brown hair? Does she have tattoos in her face, or are those just like drawings? Where are those drawings or tattoos coming from? Was that just like, a, oh, pff, I'm just gonna do it, or did she get pranked? I'm really curious about those. Okay, it's not over. Okay. This is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh. Please, there's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> then a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. Yeah, the Choco Chris. Right. You got to treat yourself after all this hard work. Oh. Your toothbrush sucks. Save it all. Uh, I don't know. Uh, how about socks? Okay, that's silly. But I really do need another pair of socks. I wash mine overnight, but they're not always dry the next morning. <laughs> He's got cold feet. <laughs> so that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. <laughs> yeah. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get this over with. Finn. Cassidy. Sean. And, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. And Daniel stays out here? Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know. But we have to keep a low profile. Got yeah, it? that's for true. millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes. And don't do anything. Nothing. He's gonna do something. I won't. Right? I swear. Okay. We'll be right back. He's gonna do something stupid, <sighs> right? 
He's gonna do something really well, once stupid. Once you're all on time, let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Uh. Very nice trims. Ah! Good work, kid. Finn, Yay! You saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <laughs> that <Sorry>. face! <laughs> now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! What? What the? Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! What? I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let him go! Oh, God. I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? <sighs> Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Uh oh. What are you gonna do? Your brother needs a lesson. No. You all need a lesson. No. What? So first off, no payday. What? Oh, fuck that. Boss. No way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. Oh, That's no. bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir. Quiet! Oh shit. Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way. Now it's my turn. Shit. Okay, Joseph. Just teach him a lesson. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Let me go! Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it. It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What? Okay. Finn looks okay, who like... did that? Finn looks like he knows something. Who did that? Uh, uh, uh. uh Big Joe. My friend. <gasps> oh shit, I should have said something. Oh no. Oh god. Is Finn okay? The look on his face. He knows. He knows about his power. <laughs> Definitely. Did you see the way Finn looked? Well, that's it. Believe it or not. Told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn. I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here. In case anything happens. And I practice every day. <laughs> Man. So, Sean. Maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. No. Do you have a superpower? Dealing with Daniel, nothing. Yeah. Dealing with Daniel. Shut up! You're oh no, I didn't mean that. that. Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. The reptilian. It started in Seattle. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But, I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word. 
that you'll keep all this to yourself seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise. You I hope so. Us. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. Yeah. That's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Oh. Okay. Talk later. Well, is he going to go He's back right. to his family? It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Is Jacob going to go back to his family because he said he's not going back until he gets a sign from uh, God? Hold up. Huh? You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Metal yeah. safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? What? Me? No fucking way, Phil. No, no, no. Don't no. pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. But so you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. <sighs> How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I didn't think about that. It is really a stupid idea. Yeah. Really? No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just... having a brain fart. Let's... Have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? Thanks, He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus... Since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. What? What? Okay. Are you getting a tattoo? I- Dude, I want one. No, you don't, <laughs> hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, this video got very long, but I had no chance to make any stop. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. Wow, that was a lot. I got really worried that Daniel would get beaten up, but I'm really, really thankful that Daniel himself could stop it and Finn was about to stand up for him. This this is this was really cool. But I'm a little bit worried. Um I'm always looking a bit closer at the faces and the way the people stand around or what they do with their hands. Um and did you notice when Finn was walking away, he was doing like like this? He was he was placing his hands together close to his mouth. He was thinking about something. If you want to hear my opinion, um I think he will try to convince Daniel uh to steal the money with him together, even though Sean and Cassidy and all the others are against it. They will do, they will just try it anyway. Um I'm not hoping for it, but I'm guessing it. 
So yeah, as always, I hope you like what you saw. If so, please don't forget to move the like button. And I wish with very hard that I may greet you in the next video. Ciao! -y.